Hi everyone, it's Joy here, and I'm excited to share two cards with you. I'm gonna show you the versatility of using the same products to create both an A2 and mini slim card. Now here are the products that I'm using, the Life of the Party stamp and coordinating die, the Set the Scene cloud stencil, the mini slim masking stencils windows, the wispy grass border, sugar cube cardstock, foam sticky strips. I'm using lime zest and pea pod, cookie monster confetti cake, candy corn, cherry pop, and jelly donut. I'm actually not using the pineapple. Versamark ink and Oreo ink, a powder tool and clear embossing powder, the new Biddy blender brushes, Copic markers, grid paper, and an acrylic block. These are all the products I'm using to make these two super cute cards. Now I'm starting with a piece of sugar cube cardstock in my Misty. I do have the foam insert removed. I'm using all four of the cute little critter images from the Life of the Party stamp set. I'm inking that up with Oreo ink because I will be doing Copic coloring and this ink is Copic friendly. I'm actually also going to be coloring another elephant because I need three images for one card and two images for another. So I am coming in with some gray Copic markers to color my elephant and I'm laying down my light color coming in with the darker color to add some shadow and darker shading then coming in with my middle color blending out a little bit from the edges and then coming back in with my lightest color and just blending over the whole thing. I used a pink for the ears, which is R20, and then I went back over it with my lightest gray to kind of soften up the pink. Now for the giraffe, I'm using some browns and some kind of orangey browns because they are kind of this beautiful orangish brown color. And just doing the same thing with the light color, the dark, and the medium. The monkey is a brown color, and I'm using the same browns for the monkey and the lion, but I will add a few darker colors for the lion's mane. I'm coloring his face and his belly lighter than the uh, outside part of his body, making that a little bit darker so there is a contrast between the two elements on his body. So the same type of thing for the lion, making his face and his body lighter than his mane. His mane will be quite a bit darker. And when I do the mane, I'm gonna lay down a lighter color for the whole mane, and then I'm gonna come back in with a darker and medium color, and just from the, his face out, just do a flicking motion with the markers to give a more detailed look for around his face. I'm going to be coming in with some reds, orange, blues, and purples for the hats and that cute little heart that the elephant is holding. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that color to each one of the images. Now for each one of these cards, I really am keeping the color scheme exactly the same, using the same images, the same ink colors for each of the cards, the A2 and the mini slim card. And that will make this design cohesive. So now here is that wispy grass border die, and I'm gonna cut that out of some sugar cube cardstock twice. And I'm gonna come in and do some inking. I'm using the Biddy Blender brushes, and I'm laying down the lime zest color first. And these Biddy Blender brushes are fantastic for small images like this. You really have a ton of control when you're inking up with this. Now I'm coming in with Peapod ink and I'm only inking at the bottom part of the grass. I want there to be some interest, some dimension and color. And so leaving the top little blades of grass, the lighter color really makes a difference. So I'm gonna finish inking this up at the bottom and kind of on the sides and you can see how pretty that, that uh, grass border dye looks. Now I have my mini slim card panel and I have it trimmed down slightly smaller than a mini slim card which measures six and a half by three inches. I have the mini slims masking stencil windows and I have that lined up and I'm coming in with one of the stencils from set the scene and I'm using the confetti cake ink and my bitty blender brush to add some clouds clouds to that top window and that bottom window. Again these bitty blender brushes you have a lot of control and you can ink up a small area like this without getting ink everywhere which is really fantastic 
Now for that center panel, I am going to ink that up with Confetti Cake, and then I'm coming in with Cookie Monster ink just on the outside. And as you can see, those brushes work great for that, and I'm leaving that center a lighter color. Now on my A2 sized panel, again, this is trimmed down about a quarter of an inch on all sides, and I'm coming in with that cloud stencil, and I'm starting with the confetti cake at the bottom. And as you can notice, I did not go all the way down. I actually marked off where my uh, grass border is going to be. I'm coming in with Cookie Monster ink at the top to finish off the clouds. Now I have some foam sticky strips behind my grass border die, and I'm lining that up at the bottom of my clouds, leaving that bottom part open because we will be putting some sentiments behind that. And I just trimmed off the excess from the sides. I used foam sticky strips behind the elephant, and the other two critters I'm just going to adhere directly to the card panel, and this will also give dimension. It looks like the elephant is closer and the other critters are further away. So now I am using foam sticky strips behind the monkey and elephant on my mini slim card panel. And I'm going to use that masking part of the stencil to line up my grass so I know exactly how wide I need my grass pieces to be. So I'm lining up my grass border die and just trimming it around where that square is because that is the size of the opening that we stenciled. I'm going to adhere those grass pieces directly to my critters because they are already popped up with foam tape, which gives it dimension. So once that's adhered, you've got this great little scene already on this card. So now in my Misty, I have lined up the sentiment and this sentiment says, let's celebrate. I've already lined that up. I removed my card panel and I'm stamping that on my grid paper to make sure it is already straight. I'm going to ink that up again. First, I'm gonna prep that with my powder tool because we will be doing some clear heat embossing on this, but I'm gonna start with the Oreo ink and I'm gonna ink that up a couple times to get a good image. Then I'm going to ink that up with Versamark ink and sprinkle on the clear embossing powder. I'm gonna heat that through until it's melted. This is going to make the sentiment super shiny. I'm doing the same thing for my A2 size card panel. I have three sentiments lined up at the bottom. I inked that up with Oreo ink. Now I'm inking that up with Versamark ink. Then I'm gonna come in and sprinkle on the clear embossing powder and then heat that until it's nice and melted and shiny. Now that that's done, I'm coming in with a little image and it just is like a little confetti. It has three little separate confetti pieces and I'm gonna ink each one of those pieces up with a different color. I'm using candy corn, cherry pop, and jelly donut and I'm just gonna stamp a couple of those around the little critters on both of my card panels and it just is so super cute and adds some action to this card design. I'm using a black glaze pen to the eyes and noses of the critters and then I'm gonna come in with a white gel pen and I like to add some details to the cheeks, like some little freckles. I added some freckles on the top of the nose of the giraffe. I'm gonna add some highlight spots on the hats and the hearts that the elephants are holding. And I will add some white dots to the eyes of the monkey. And this just really adds a lot of detail to the card. As you can see, I have this adhered to a white mini slimline card base and the other card panel is adhered to a white A2 size card base. And we have these two super cute designs and you can see the versatility of using the same products on different size cards. I wanna thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. You can find all of these products at Taylor Expressions web store at taylorexpressions.com.